Well, howdy, 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 nearly seniors. It isn't here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. I don't know why I pointed back into the room like that, but I like to make gestures, and I like to move. One of the things I couldn't do for a long time is this hand was completely paralyzed. It was dead for over a year. I have braided my radial nerve, and my hand would not move. It was dead. But nerves grow back, and now I only have about a 10% deficit, so... I like to gesture. I like to move. Your brain loves information. So just doing stuff like that, your brain says, oh God, give me more. So yeah. <laughs> anyway though, this is Vix with Blackout Comeback Stage. Now I really liked Vix. In fact, one of the very, very, very first K-pop things I reacted to was Error by Vix. And I cried like a baby. That was such a good song and such an excellent video. It reminded, oh, it reminded me so much of my wife. So it was good. I, I, don't want to cry so when I, I do that sort of stuff it's not that I don't like crying if you watch my videos I'm kind of known for crying but it's just it gets my sinuses and all sorts of stuff and it makes it unpleasant so if I don't need to like right now it's just talking a little bit of nostalgia I don't want my sinuses all bugged up I'm looking over to my webcam software make sure I'm not off at a weird angle when you see me going like that it's, I'm just making sure webcam software is good. Thumbs up for that. Anyway though, again, this is Vix with Blackout. Now I'm gonna yammer over the top of this video because today is Friday, it's K-pop Friday. Every Monday, every Friday, I react to a K-pop song. I'm gonna yammer over the top of this thing just all the way through it, except during the time when I'm chair dancing. Because two reasons, one physiological, one pretentious. The physiological reasons, I was an active alcoholic for 23 plus years. I went and damaged my brain with that. I suffer from fibromyalgia. I have fibro fog and it is so hard to concentrate. Plus with the depression that I have after the death of my wife and her cat three years ago, I'm seeing a therapist for it now. But you combine the three of those things, if I don't say what I think when I think it, it is gone. So I can be quiet and respectful, not say a thing during a video. And when it's done, I got nothing to say. Absolutely zero. And you know what? That's boring and awful. I'm not going to upload that. So I cannot just wait. I can't pause the video either. I talk so much and so often because that's just the kind of person that I am. That the logistics of trying to sync the video to the audio would be a living nightmare. I'm not going to spend five days editing a five minute video. Not gob done. So I talk over the video because I can't pause. I can't wait. The pretentious reason is I consider most reactors, reaction channels, reaction videos to be YouTube cancer. And I don't want to be YouTube cancer. When I see other reactors sitting and staring with a blank face as the entire video plays in its entirety, thus the entire video, that is simple YouTube cancer, especially when they sum it up at the end with awesome or some similar miss the point summation. No, 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 no. Cancer. There are those that overreact in an exaggerated and extra hyperbolic fashion during the entire thing. They just can't believe this video. That too is cancer. And I refuse to be YouTube cancer. So let us watch. Let us listen to, let us enjoy, and let us react to Vix Blackout Comeback Stage right now. Ooh. Oh, this is live. I mean, it's not. No, was it? I thought I heard. Yeah. Okay, it's one of the live stage shows. That's very cool. I would love to be at any one of these K-pop concerts. I mean, especially like Vix. Especially after I said the way they've been able to reduce me to tears with their music. I would love to see them live. Their choreography is always absolutely insane. I mean, this is stuff that 
I used to do stage plays, and you've got to remember your your placing, your crossing, all this stuff. But holy smokes! I mean, you have to drill this stuff into your head, so it's not just second nature. It's it's muscle memory. That's intense. Now, I don't know what it is. I don't find expressions of sexuality to be a bad thing. And yet, I find, like when people on stage, like in this video, when they like grab their crotch, or they do other some similar overtly sexual stuff, it, I think it's just the crassness of it that bothers me. Because, like I say, sexuality doesn't bother me. I mean, I like ogling fine young pieces of meat, male or female, I don't care which. But, it's just the, like that, blatant, overt, crass sexuality. I think that's what bothers me. That it's not subtle, that it's just going, hey, hey, you know what? I got this for you. <laughs> Well, that was special. I went and hit my uh, my cable, unplugged my headphones. I'm hoping I can get this sync back up again. Oops! <laughs> it suddenly started blaring out of my speakers. Not good. So yeah, that's why there's a big jump in the video and the audio there. I'm hoping I get it synced up right. But yeah, it's the point being what I was trying to say is when they're just going like, you know, I got this for you. It's like, come on, come on, be subtle, be pleasant about it. The best things that you find are when you're being subtle about things, not not blatant and loud about it. But that's just me. I think it's. I don't know. It's always bothered me my entire life. But, 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 ignore that. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I unplugged my headphones in the middle of that. Hopefully I've been even able to sync this up. That was such a stupid move on my part. Oh, let me move my software so I don't have to look way over there. Just gotta make sure I'm centered. Because if I'm not centered, it gets all itchy inside of my head. There we go. Yeah, it was a good video. I really liked what I heard. I really liked what I saw. I know I fixated on the crassness of the sexuality part, but I think it's just the fact that it's so crass and and open and blatant. That's the thing that's always bugged me about it. Cause, and I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I don't feel like a prude, as I say. I. I don't think there's anything wrong with public nudity if you just want to if you wake up and you ain't got no clothes on and you don't want to spend the day with clothes on and so you spend the day inside your house with no clothes and you want to go somewhere and you just throw on some shoes and head out you got to protect your feet you know casual public nudity it's like who cares it shouldn't matter that sort of thing doesn't bother me but for the song the song that was good stuff very good choreography once again and I would love to be at any one any one of these groups or bands having a concert if there was something anywhere close to where I lived I'd go watch them in a heartbeat oh my god yes I love k-pop and I don't know why it doesn't seem like something I'd like but then I love everything I love absolutely everything I try to keep an open mind and so I love this stuff and I sincerely hope that you enjoyed that song, that live song, even half as much as I did, because it was good stuff right there. And hey, if you can check out my links down below, that would be awesome. I got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google Plus. If you could check out all my links, that would be awesome. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very good. I'm gonna have about $300 next month to pay my $1,000 rent, my $300 Comcast bill, and more. I don't wanna be homeless. I don't want to go dark. If you could help, that would be very, very good. I'm hosed. 
I honestly don't know what to do for money. I need help. I am on the precipice. It's right on the edge, and I got people pushing at my back with poles, and there ain't but a half inch of space that I can walk before I fall several thousand feet to my death. If you could help, that would be awesome, please. But if you cannot donate or you do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could, what's the word? Oh yeah, subscribe to the channel. That would be very cool. I do appreciate everybody who does so. Now, I would understand if you don't want to. My personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. So if you do not want to subscribe to the channel, you do not like my videos, I do, unfortunately, understand. But if you are down with it, I'll do my best to keep you entertained from now until, well, to the day I kick off. And I plan on live streaming on my deathbed. So one day, sometime in the future, you're going to watch me die. Hopefully someone will come in and turn off the camera when it's done. Otherwise, you're going to watch me rot over the next couple of weeks, too. That would be pretty gross. Very long live stream. Dead stream? Anyway, though, very, very good video. Very good stuff. And I sincerely hope that you enjoyed that even half as much as I did. Definitely a thumbs up. I got a rash. No, 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 this is my rash video. I got a game video coming up on the channel if I don't fall asleep. Fat chance on that. I have fallen asleep like five or six times today. My vlog was late because I fell asleep for an hour. This was being done late because I fell asleep for an hour. What are the odds I'm going to be able to stay awake? But, so you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. So avoid the buses. Now, I mean the buses that have your name on them. Falco died in the 1980s. The guy who did Rock the Amadeus. Because a bus with his name on it hunted him down and killed him. Don't let the bus with your name on it find you and kill you. Stay alive. Please.